Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to answer this question here. What does this mean on your calculator? So when you are doing calculations, especially with very big or, or very small uh, values, you often end up with answers with like a big E, a capital E. Now, what I'm talking about E on your calculator, I'm talking about what you see on your calculator screen. I'm not talking about a little E that would be on your calculator for those of you that have like advanced calculators, like graphing calculators, etc. I'm talking about uh, most uh, calculators you deal with, you will see an E on the screen from time to time, especially if you're dealing with very large or very small numbers. So a lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. And sometimes you see this like with a, a plus E, it comes in different variations, but I'm pretty sure uh, most of you know what I'm talking about. You'll see this E and you're like, I have no idea what that is. However, some of you might know exactly what that is. And if you do know what that is, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you what this means in just one second. And then we're going to kind of do an, a, uh, an example prompt to illustrate precisely how to interpret uh, what this E means, because this will come up from time to time. And of course, this all depends on what type of calculator you have. But, uh, you know, all calculators you know, have a limit in terms of how many digits they can show. So anyways, I'm going to get into all of this in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at this number here, 5.25e to the 10. So this is a number, it is a value. And what does this mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. So 5.25e to, uh, to the 10, this would be something that you would see on your calculator screen, but we wanna interpret this as the number 5.25 times 10 to the 10th power, okay? This is, a, uh, this is 10 times 10, uh, uh, this is 10 times uh, itself 10 times, right? So that's what 10 to the 10th, which is a very, 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 very large number. And this is going to produce a ton of zeros and it's not gonna be able to fit on your calculator screen. So what we wanna do is to write these super large numbers or very, very small numbers in something called scientific notation, okay? So we're gonna be using the power of tens and this is an example of a number written in scientific notation. And this is stuff that you learn in like algebra one. Okay, maybe pre-algebra. Anytime you start working with powers and exponents, uh, you oftentimes start uh, learning about scientific notations. And there's a good reason for it because uh, you need to be able to express super large and very small values without writing all the zeros out, right? It would just be crazy. Imagine if you had to write this number. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but let's just say you had to do a lot of calculations and you had to work with this number all day long. You could see that you would waste so much time by just writing out the number. We don't want to uh, have this type of notation. Now, this a number like this, now if you think about the word scientific notation, maybe if we're talking about the distance between two stars or something like that, I mean the values get crazy, right? They're like quantum, super large, whatnot. So we would spend more time writing out the number versus actually doing any calculations. So we don't want to use this notation. We want to use scientific notation. So to kind of answer my question here, what does the E mean? Well, it basically means uh, that this number here, 5.25e to the 10, is this right here is the exponent, okay? Uh, basically, it means take 10, and this e, this 10, is going to be the exponent to uh, a base of 10, all right? So the e effectively is base 10. So whatever little number you see after the e, okay, is the exponent, all right? So it's going to be 5.25 times the E is like 10, and then this little 10 is the, uh, right here after the E is the exponent, right? So hopefully that makes sense. And let's go to take a look at the answer. But if you knew what this E meant, you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're not tricking me. I knew exactly what this means. Well, that's very, very good. A lot of people are confused about this, but let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you understand your calculator very well. 
Okay, so nice uh, job. A lot of people, again, are confused with this. It's a common question, and I totally get it, but um, if you, like, couldn't find the answer. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at an example problem, and we'll uh, do this problem right here. Okay, so we here we have 8,400,000. We're going to divide this by 0 .00016. If you want to play along, grab your calculator. Now, if you're using a calculator on your computer or uh, maybe your cell phone, wherever you're, you're looking at it. all depends on how many digits uh, that will pop up in your screen. But for most, like scientific calculators or graphing calculators, you're going to come up with probably something like this. So take these uh, two numbers, 8,400,000 divided by 0 0.00016, and more than likely, you're going to come up with an answer like so. Okay, the number that we're talking about, 5.25 e uh, to the 10th. Now, when I'm looking at this answer, I'm like, well, what does this mean? Okay, well, it means this, okay, 5.25 times 10 to the 10th. This is the number in scientific notation. And if I wanted to write this in what we call expanded form, I would take 5.25 and I would multiply it by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. You get the idea, 10 times itself, 10 times, right? So you do all that work. Okay, I'll get that gigantic product, then multiply by 5.25, and you would have the actual number. You know, that's a number called expanded form. Okay, but of course, we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave that number in scientific notation, which means this. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do this problem here and just uh, kind of see how this, in fact, uh, is equal to this in scientific notation. So this would be kind of a good practice problem. For those of you who are like, well, how do you work with scientific notation? Well, here is it's a, a real quick example. I'm not going to really get into the details here because this is a, you know, warrants a little bit more time than what I'm going to get into. But if you need help with scientific notation, powers, exponents, all this stuff, check out like my Algebra 1 course. Uh, definitely help you out. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this number here, 8,400,000 in scientific notation. You can see I already did that right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal point uh, to construct uh, a number between 1 and 10. So here is the decimal point on this number. This is where it's uh, currently residing. So if I want to um, construct a number between 1 and 10 using the digits of this number, I'm scoping in on uh, 8 uh, and 4. Okay. Well, I'm like, okay, a number between 1 and 10, well, 0.84, if I put the decimal point in front of the uh, uh, 8, that's 0.84, that's less than 1. Okay, remember, I want a number between 1 and 10. If I point at the decimal point after the 4, that's 84, that's too big. So to uh, be just right, i got to put the decimal point right there, right, between 8 and 4. So that would be 8.4. All right, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. got to move the decimal point 6 places to the left to get that uh, value between 1 and 10, so that's 8.4 times 10 to the 6. So if I move the decimal point to the left, it's going to be a positive exponent, It's going to, and the base is always 10. Okay, so we're talking about powers of 10. So 8,400,000 is equivalent to 8.4 times 10 to the 6, positive 6 power. So that's an illustration of writing a number into scientific notation. Now in here, you can see to construct a number between 1 and uh, 10, our number is going to be 1.6, and I got to move it over one, two, uh, three, four to the right. Okay, I got to move that decimal point to the right, which means my exponent is going to be negative. Now, I am uh, very quickly going over scientific notation. I, this is not a formal instruction, so if you're a little bit lost, check out like my Algebra 1 course and my powers and exponent uh, chapter. Okay, you'll learn all this stuff and much, much more. All right, so here is our two numbers written in scientific notation. So let's now work in scientific notation. So we have 8.4 times 10 to the 6 uh, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the 4th. Now what I can do now is I can move this 10 to the negative 4th up into the numerator, and that will be 10 to a positive 4, same base. So I simply add the exponent, so that's 10 to the 10th power. Okay, so now... I have this number. Now, if you didn't understand this step, well, you need to review working with powers and exponents because you're going to be definitely doing problems like this in algebra. But let's go and finish this problem. But we have 8.4 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the 10th and 8.4 
divided by 1.6. Even if you didn't have a calculator, you could just do this by hand. It may not be fun, but you could do that little decimal problem right there, 8.4 divided by 1.6. You're going to get 5.25 times 10 to the, ooh, I got 10 to the 11th. Actually, actually that's 10 uh, to the 10th power. See, I'm editing my video uh, in real time. How awesome is that? 10 to the 10th power. So there you go. There is the final answer. Okay. So again, this is working, uh, without, um, uh, scientific notation. Let's say you didn't know scientific notation and you're like, well, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to do this problem right here on my calculator. Well, you're going to come up with this answer and you're like, what does that mean? Well, it means this again, you have to be able to interpret what a number means in scientific notation. Very, very important stuff. Okay, so hopefully this video was, you know, entertaining, uh, informative. You know, you know, of course, a lot of you are like, hey, I'm just trying to learn math. It's not, you know, for entertainment. I like to watch other stuff. Listen, I totally get it. I try to have a sense of humor because we are talking about math. And a lot of people just, you know, get bored with math. But I think, you know, really, when you're, if you're trying to really learn math and you're struggling, try to have the best attitude towards learning. Okay, if you're learning you know, trying to, you know, uh, come up with a different association, you know, try to have a natural curiosity about the subject you're trying to learn. Even if you don't like it, it will make things much, much better. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.